So, the new Mac Mini will be coming with a choice of an M2 and M2 Pro chipset inside. But today we have great news of that the M2 Pro will have 30% more power performance to the M1 Pro in this new report. And I want to go over specs, design, so really everything for the new Mac Mini 2022. And of course I also want to go over the Mac Mini M2 release date and price as well. But first, a quick summary of where we are with the Mac Mini. So Apple updated the baseline Mac Mini in 2020 with the M1 chipset inside. However, Apple still continue to sell the top range Mac Mini and I'll explain why this is later on in this video. However, for design wise, we haven't actually seen a true redesign to this Mac since 2010 when we went from the kind of plastic design to the full on unibody metal design that we can see here. Shortly after we had changes like the loss of the CD DVD drive, then in 2018 we also got a space grey version, however overall the design has remained the same for about 10 years now. The great news is Apple are looking to make a whole new design for the Mac Mini based on the renders that you're seeing right here and also Apple will be putting in a more powerful Apple Silicon chip than the M1 that we currently have right now. What will be the M2 and the M2 Pro? So, moving on with the possibility of an M2 chipset inside. So we've just had the release of the M2 chipset at WWDC and we already know that Apple is working on the M2, M2 Pro, M2 Max and even the M2 Ultra. And also, earlier on this year, we also had the peak performance event. And a lot of you were hoping for a more powerful Mac Mini and essentially in a way we did get this with the Mac Studio. However, it turned out to be more powerful than we imagined and fell more in line as a replacement for the 27 inch iMac that Apple have also confirmed they've stopped making from now on. Apple still hilariously still sell the higher spec Intel Mac Mini what is slower in every way than the cheaper M1 Mac Mini. Before Apple Silicon, Apple used to sell a lower and higher spec Mac Mini and they looks like they're going to be doing the same here just like what we had with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max for the MacBook Pros and also the same again with the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra in the Mac Studio. It's quite likely that the new Mac Mini will not just get the next generation M2 chipset but we could also get an option option for our higher spec M2 Pro will replace the higher tier Intel Mac Mini. So staying on that M2 Pro chipset, a lot of us are wondering how much power it will give us, especially at WWDC we were given the M2 and we now have the benchmarks for that chipset. The original M1 Pro and the M1 Max came at the end of last year in 2021 for the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. The M1 Pro and M1 Max has given us a true generation leap in performance over what we had in say the likes of the Intel 16 inch MacBook Pro. The CPU performance in both the 10 core M1 Pro and M1 Max is over double of what we got in the highest spec Intel i9 chipset. But we are also wondering now how much faster the M2 Pro and the M2 Max will be compared to the likes of the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. Well we've had a new report come in telling us that for at least both the M2 Pro and the M2 Max we'll be getting some additional cores put inside. Look like that we could be now be getting 12 cores instead of the 10 cores that we currently have right inside the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. This CPU at the moment is made up of two efficiency cores, eight performance cores, and it believed that the M2 Pro and the M2 Max will still have two efficiency cores, but now have 10 performance cores. This means that we'll get at least 20% increase in performance just to those additional two cores. However, like every other chipset manufacturer, out there they also improve their chipsets every year or every couple of years so combined with these two additional cores and just a general boost in performance we could be expecting between 30 to 45 percent more power than we have currently in the m1 pro and the m1 max we may also get a few additional gpu cores inside the m2 pro so instead of it starting out at 14 gpu cores it might start at 16 gpu cores as the baseline one so again 
this could give us even more performance gains inside the actual GPU performance. And remember, this does make sense as because the normal M2 chipset that just came out at WWDC got a near 18% CPU more power gain and we also got around about 35% more power in the GPU. So a quick note, with any of these leaks, even up to the new Mac Mini release date, that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true and that with the new Mac Mini, I can only present you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next Mac Mini anyway. So then guys, just recently, this channel just got over 400,000 subscribers and I did a giveaway for a MacBook Air M1. And if you want to see who the winner was for that MacBook Air one, check out my other video on my channel where I announced who the winner is. But the great thing is guys, I am doing another giveaway on this channel and it is for this. This is for a 14 inch MacBook Pro and this is with an M1 Pro chipset inside it, the eight core one with a 14 core GPU and a five 512 gigabyte hard drive inside and I'm going to be giving this away now to one lucky subscriber when we get over 450,000 subscribers and to enter into this international giveaway all I need you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy or other technology gear in 2022 put it down in the comments below and also guys if you are brand new here make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when we get over 450,000 subscribers I'll be announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Pro and you won't want to miss out on that video. Now something else just want to quickly say sadly still on YouTube there are lots of scammers and spammers out there some of them even impersonating myself telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram you or other means as well ignore them or please do report them it would really really help because we don't want scammers and spammers getting their way here on youtube well guys with that out of the way let's return back to the video so release date next and we have now started the m2 journey with the m2 macbook pro and the brand new design m2 macbook air it is likely after summer apple continued with putting m2 in the first macbooks that got the m1 chipset and if we remember this was the macbook air the 13 inch macbook pro and the mac mini as we know the air and pro are already done and it's likely the mac mini is coming potentially with the next generation of the m2 imac as well Apple normally do an event in September time and this is more towards say the Apple Watch, iPads and also the iPhones. However, we normally get another event around mid to end October time and that showcases the new Macs that come out the end of say October or early November time and it's expected for Apple to release the new M2 Macs at this time. But moving on, let's do a summary of the 2022 Mac Mini is expected to give us and the prices. So as already mentioned, we're expecting to get two new Mac Minis this year, the M2 and the M2 Pro. But we're expecting to see this in a brand new design Mac Mini, what will be a first in around about 12 years. It will be a slimmer Mac Mini and it will also have a MagSafe power connector on the back, very similar to the likes that we have on the back of say an iMac 24 inch. The storage options inside it will go from 256 gigabytes all the way up to four terabytes SSD storage options. You will get the choice of an M2 and an M2 Pro, and this will give you between two to four efficiency cores and also four to eight performance cores, depending on which version of the M2 and the M2 Pro that you pick. Again, with GPU cores, it will be between 10 to 18 cores of GPU. And again, this depends on the chipset, and also you might get a few less cores if you pick a binned version as well. For actual RAM amount, most likely for the M2 you'll get between 8 to 16 gigabytes and then for the M2 Pro it will be 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Then the actual body of this brand new Mac Mini will be an aluminium unibody frame body but then on the back we're going to get some, some great new ports. We'll be getting four Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB 3.2 ports so this is the normal standard size ports and then we will probably 
also get that 10 gigabit ethernet connection and also HDMI 2.1 as well. The starting price for the lowest configuration with M2 and say 8 gigabytes of RAM, you will pay for a 256 gigabyte storage option. It will be 699 US dollars, what is the same price for the Mac Mini M1 that we have right now. So as you can see this time around there's going to be lots of options for the 2022 Mac Mini. But my wishes for the Mac Mini is to do with the actual price. Right now the M1 Mac Mini starts in at $699 US dollars but the highest spec Intel version starts at $1099 US dollars. My fear is Apple may raise the price of the Mac Mini due to the power that you're getting inside with the potential M2 Pro. However I'm hoping that Apple will retain the price especially for the M2 version. However with a new design and everything I do not believe this could happen and especially with the highest spec M2 Pro Mac Mini I'm quite sure the price will be higher than the version of the Intel one that we have right now. But those are my thoughts and my current wish for this Mac. However, let me know your thoughts if you agree with this and also write in the comments below of what your wishes would be for the new Mac Mini. Well guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video. And at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.